Good morning, friends. It is time for another chat. I watched a video this morning on YouTube from another one of our YouTubers that did a video about eight reasons why you should not go to Monta. And when I come back, I'm going to address these. Hey! Oh, rocket cheek. Roger. Hello there. So I'd like to say, I, I'm not going to mention this person's name, just like the last time I talked about somebody that did a video about anything, about something here in, in Ecuador and about retirement here that I didn't necessarily agree with. And I don't want to, I don't want to be uh, that person that, that watches other people's videos and then critiques them especially in a negative way and uh, so I'm going to try to be as put as much of a positive spin on all of this as I can. I, I, this guy uh, eight reasons why you should not why you should just skip Monta. I mean don't even go to Monta and I, I respectfully disagree with most of what this guy said. There's a couple items on this list I'll tell you here in just a second that I don't necessarily disagree with so uh, the, the first item that he brought up, he said it smells like fish all over the place. Now I'm quoting from his video. Smells like fish all over the place. That, that's not true, folks. That is not true. There is an area of Monta where they have these canneries. And I, if you get around those canneries and you're downwind from them, I'm sure you're going to smell it. He said something about some place where pigs were floating and dead pigs were floating and I, I, I don't get this I've not seen this I've been here seven months I've been from one end of Monta to the other and I've not experienced this I mean hell if you want to complain about the smell of something what about the smell of the coffee brewing in the coffee factory on the way up to Monte Cristi the smell in this stuff here is not any different than being in the United States sunny Southern California driving my motorcycle driving down the the open highways in Southern California and passed by an egg hatchery. You ever smelled an egg farm? Chicken stuff, you know, chicken poop everywhere. It's it's horrible. And then not to mention the dairy farms in Mesa, Arizona. Even where I lived in Mesa, Arizona, in a retirement community, a nice community, if the wind's blowing just right. There was a dairy farm that was just a, you know, a few miles as the crow flies from where I lived and we'd get to smell that smell from that, that dairy farm. Barnyard honey, what we used to call it. Bad stuff. So I mean, it's like, you, I, I think every city you go to, there's going to be something that's going to produce smells that you don't like. but. Uh, this this business that smells like fish all over the place is just dead wrong. I'm sorry, sir. I don't agree with you on that at all. And I think it's a, I don't think it's a fair statement to talk about Monta like that. The second thing he mentioned doesn't feel safe. It it it's as safe as you want it to be here, folks. I mean, he he talks in this video about being out. Uh, I think he was down in the restaurant area, and you know, eight thirty nine o'clock at night. You know, it gets dark here at six thirty seven o'clock. And a couple guys came out from an alley, he said, and they were, uh, you know, a little cautious and a little concerned about it and didn't feel safe. But, you know, folks, it's common sense. You, you've got to exercise common sense when you come here. It's not any different here than it is in any major city in the United States. You use common sense. You don't hang out in areas where you don't belong. And you're not going to have problems like that, okay? I feel safe here. I feel 100% safe. There's... There's a street right behind me here that I guarantee you, I will not walk down even during the daytime. I wouldn't feel safe. But that's just one street here. There's another street here that just a couple blocks over that I feel just fine. So, you know, there again, it's, it's all about perspective and, and using your common sense and staying out of the bad neighborhoods and you don't have any reason to not feel safe here. I did a video about that, about safety, somewhere way back. He said, number three, the beach kind of sucks. 
Can't swim. Waves are choppy. There's people swimming out here right now. I, I don't. I'll take a picture and I'll post it. And I'll show you people swimming in the beach down here. There's people swimming in this water out here all the time. I get up in the mornings and come out here for my morning coffee. There's people out here swimming right out here. And they go way out there. Don't tell me that people don't. Beach kind of sucks. It's not Hawaii, okay? It's, it's not the Car Caribbean. We, we're not on the white sandy beaches. There are white sandy beaches in Ecuador, but no, not here in Monta. But I've shown you several pictures of the beach. And the, be the beach here, it's not a huge beach, but it's a nice beach. There's parts of the beach, like right down here, where there's a lot of rocks and you, that get washed on shore. And you just have to, just, you know, don't come down here. Go down there where all the sand is. Complain about the beach. <laughs> waves are choppy. What waves? <laughs> I mean, there is chop out there. When the wind blows, we get lots of white caps out there. But the waves down here are not any different. They're really pretty calm. Very calm. Number four. Overpriced real estate. Okay, well, I probably will agree with you on that. Of the cities in Monta, it's probably, I mean, I, it's, I don't know about Quito. I haven't been to Quito. I, it's probably, of all the beach cities, it's the most expensive beach city to be in. Overpriced real estate. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm going to be in Cuenca in a couple of weeks and I'll, I'll get a firsthand taste of what real estate is like up there. But I already know that it's more affordable there than it is here. I mean, it's a beach. It's a beach area. It's like Costa Rica and Miami and any other coastal town. Uh, the real estate's going to be higher. It's, that's just economics, folks. But, I mean, I, 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 and to some extent, I do, I do agree with you on that. Traffic, really bad. What do you care? You get in a taxi and go where you need to go. And then you come back home. Most of the traffic is taxis. So what do you care? Traffic really bad. I I I go to Southern California. Go to L.A. Get on the 405, and then tell me traffic's bad here. Let, come on, you got to put this. You, think about reality when you think about this kind of stuff. There's more traffic here in Monte. Of course, it's a city. It's a big city. Like 300,000 people here. There's going to be traffic. This one here really gets me. He says, he makes a reference to uh, Monte is a shithole. He, he, he said he wasn't going to say it out of respect, but then he shows a picture of a toilet with a bunch of waste in it. And he compares Monte to Cleveland. I don't get this at all. That's, I think that's disrespectful. That's disingenuous. Monte is not a shithole. And I think you should take your picture of your toilet. I think you should take that video completely down. That's that's just bad taste. That's just poor taste right there. Showing that picture of that toilet. You'll never see that on my videos, folks. Then he says it's really hot, dry, and dusty. Always under construction. There's a lot of construction going on. This place is a developing city. There is a lot of development going on here. Thank God. This place was literally destroyed in the 2016 earthquake five years ago. Seven years, six years ago. My math is right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of development going on. So, yeah, sure, there's construction. But, I mean, I remember living in Houston in the 70s a long time ago. I lived there for 10 years. And the highways there were always under construction. I never saw it when it wasn't. And most of the construction that you see around here is the good kind of construction. It's, it's development, it's stuff being built for people to come and live in. So don't, don't say this is a bad reason for not coming to Monta. That's BS. Then he says it's right on the fault line. Major quake every 20 years. Right on the fault line. I don't know about that. I'm going to have to research that. I've seen, I have this little app in my phone that shows all the daily earthquakes. And you can actually look at a map. And it looks to me like the fault line is out there. Way out there. I don't think the fault line runs through Monta. I don't think you're wrong. 
I'm gonna find out, and I, if I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description. He says Monta really sucks. That's, folks, I, that's, no, that's not true. Monta does not really suck. My own personal perspective, I don't think that Monta is the first choice when it comes to coming to Ecuador and buying property. If you want to be in the real estate business, it might be a good choice because a lot of people come here to rent. You know, a lot of people come here from Quito for the holidays and vacations and the, the rental market's really lucrative here. And there's a lot of development. The condo projects that are coming up at Bay, Bay Front or Bay Area, I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it in the description. And, you know, that that part, you know, from that standpoint, yeah, I mean, it, it's okay. I think that the best purpose for Monta is to come here when you want to come to Ecuador. Come to Monta, you're on the coast, you get to enjoy the beach, there's great seafood here, there's medical help everywhere, there's healthcare is abundant and it's available, and it's a good place to, to pick as a landing spot, and then you can venture out and explore from here. There's beach villages all up and down this coastline, and you can do all that right from here in Monta. So don't get it in your head that Monta sucks. This guy is dead wrong, and I'm sorry. I'd say that with peace and love, sir, my fellow YouTuber. I'm not going to mention your name, but I bet you people know who you are, and I just think you're wrong on this one. Okay, so that's it, folks. I, uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. The subscribe button, let's see if I get this right, is right there, okay? Just push that subscribe button if you want to subscribe. And then also, don't forget to ring the bell if you want to be notified when I have a new video coming on board. Okay? So, from Monte Ecuador, have a great day.